Have you ever wondered where rain comes from? Well, let's take a moment to ponder on this question. Rain, as you know, is water that falls from the sky. But have you ever stopped to think about the role of this seemingly simple substance in our world? Water, my friends, is the very essence of life. It's not just something we drink when we're thirsty. It's a vital element in our everyday lives and it plays a massive part in the world around us. Imagine a world without water. It would be like a canvas without paint, a story without words, a song without melody. Water is to life what colors are to a rainbow. It brings vibrancy, it brings vitality. Every living creature from the tiniest ant to the largest elephant needs water to survive. It quenches our thirst, yes, but it does so much more than just that. Water aids in digestion, helps to regulate our body temperature and even helps to carry nutrients and oxygen to our cells. And let's not forget about the plants. They need water as much if not more than we do. Water helps plants to grow by carrying essential nutrients from the soil to their roots. It aids in the process of photosynthesis, which is how plants make their own food. Without water there would be no greenery, no flowers, no fruits, and no vegetables. Now, think about the rivers, the lakes, the oceans. They are vast bodies of water that serve as homes to countless species of fish and other aquatic life. These water bodies also play a crucial role in regulating the Earth's climate and weather patterns. So you see water is not just a refreshing drink, it's a life-giving, world-sustaining wonder. It's a silent hero that works tirelessly day in and day out to keep us alive and thriving. So now that we understand how important water is, let's discover where rain comes from. Imagine if you were a tiny water droplet in a big, big ocean. What would your journey look like? Well, let's embark on this fantastic voyage together. Imagine you're a water droplet just floating around in the vast blue ocean. You're bobbing along minding your own business when suddenly you feel a warm touch. That's the sun, reaching down with its golden fingers to give you a little tickle. As the sun's warmth wraps around you, you start to feel lighter, so light that you begin to rise, leaving your ocean home behind. This is evaporation, a fancy word that simply means you, as a water droplet, turn from liquid into gas. It's like you're a magical shapeshifter, changing forms with the help of the sun's warmth. Now, you're rising higher and higher up into the sky. You wave goodbye to the other water droplets still in the ocean. You're on an adventure now, soaring above the world. You're part of the water vapor now, an invisible gas that's all around us. As you rise higher, the air becomes cooler. You start to feel a bit chilly. This change in temperature causes you to transform again. You're no longer a gas but a tiny water droplet again. Only this time, you're up in the sky. This process is called condensation. It's a bit crowded up here with all the other water droplets who've made the same journey. You're all huddled together forming a fluffy white cloud. It's like a big cozy blanket in the sky. And there you are, a tiny water droplet, having left the big, big ocean, gone on an incredible journey, changed forms not once but twice, and now you're hanging out in a cloud way up in the sky. You've experienced evaporation and condensation, two crucial steps in the water cycle. So, our little water droplet has made it to the sky, but how does it become rain? Well, that's a story for another time. For now, let's marvel at the amazing journey of a single water droplet. From the ocean to the sky, every droplet has a story to tell. Once in the sky, our water droplet isn't alone. It joins millions of other droplets to form something we're all familiar with. Clouds. Now you might be wondering how does this happen? Well, it's all thanks to our friendly sun. The sun warms up the surface of our earth and when it does, it causes the water on the ground in our oceans, lakes and rivers to warm up too. This warm water then turns into water vapor, which is like a ghost version of water invisible and airy. This water vapor rises up 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 into the sky, as it rises the air gets cooler. Just like how we feel chilly when we go higher up a mountain, the water vapor also feels cold. And when it gets cold, it changes back into tiny water droplets. Imagine it's like when you're outside on a cold day, and you can see your breath. That's because the warm air from your mouth meets the cold air outside and changes into tiny water droplets. These droplets then gather together like a big, fluffy family reunion and what do they form? That's right, a cloud. These clouds can be as light and fluffy as cotton candy or as dark and heavy as a big cozy blanket. Now clouds are not just for show. They play a very important role in the water cycle. They are like the buses of the sky, carrying water droplets over mountains, across oceans and above forests. They help to distribute water all over our planet, 
ensuring that plants, animals, and yes, even us humans get the water we need. Clouds also help to cool the earth by blocking some of the sun's rays. It's like when you're outside on a hot day, and a cloud moves in front of the sun, giving you a brief, refreshing break from the heat. Our water droplet, now part of a cloud, is ready for the next part of its journey, but what happens next? When the cloud becomes too heavy with water droplets, something amazing happens. It rains. Now, you might be wondering, how does a cloud get so heavy that it decides to let go of all those water droplets? Well, it's all a part of a fascinating process called condensation and precipitation. As we learned in the previous scene, our little water droplet has been lifted high into the sky by the sun's warmth. There it meets millions of other droplets and they all huddle together forming a cloud. Now these droplets are really tiny, tinier than the width of a human hair. But when they meet up in the cloud they start to stick together, like long-lost friends having a reunion. This gathering is what we call condensation. It's like a big party of water droplets up in the sky. But as with any party there comes a time when things get a little too crowded, and when that happens in our cloud, the droplets start to combine and grow bigger. They grow so big in fact that the cloud can't hold them up anymore, and that's when the magic happens. The big, heavy droplets fall from the cloud, racing towards the ground. This is what we call precipitation, but you and I know it better as rain. Each drop of rain is a group of water droplets that have combined and grown too big for their cloud to hold. As these raindrops fall, they bring life to everything they touch. They quench the thirst of the earth, help plants grow, fill our rivers and create puddles for us to jump in. Each drop is a little bundle of joy, delivering precious water back to the earth. So, that's how our little water droplet completes its journey, from the ocean to the sky and back again as rain. Isn't it amazing to think that every time it rains, it's a sign of countless water droplets completing their incredible journey? The next time you see rain, remember this story, and maybe even say a little thank you to the water droplets for their hard work. Rain is more than just water falling from the sky. It's a crucial part of life on Earth. You see, rain is like a superhero, swooping in to help plants, animals, and even us humans. Let's imagine a world without rain. Plants would have nothing to drink, and they would wither and fade. Without plants, animals that rely on them for food would struggle to survive. And what about us humans? We depend on plants and animals for our food, don't we? Rain also fills up our rivers, lakes, and even our drinking water. Without it, we would be very thirsty. Plus, rain washes away dust and dirt, keeping our world clean and fresh. So you see, every raindrop is a little hero, making a big difference in our world. And that, my friends, is the incredible journey of a raindrop. So next time it rains, you'll know exactly where it comes from and why it's so important.